Hey, welcome back guys. Um, today, what I want to talk about is something a little more serious. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me all the times, Hey Gator, how do you deal with the haters? Uh, you know, how do you manage all the hate and all the negativity that comes your way? Uh, what is it, you know, that you do, whether it's, you know, psychologically or whatever it may be that I'm doing to push past that and not let that get to me. So today I'd like to go over just a few, th you know, a few thoughts I have on that, a few things that I personally do. Uh, that helps me get past it because you know, it's not always easy the best thing that I do with all the hate that's coming my way is I focus on Just the positive stuff uh, You know, obviously I'm making the haters gonna hate series and obviously uh, You know, I'm responding to a lot of the hate comments But overall what I'm really focused on the things that I take actually do take to heart are the positive comments or the positive criticism and a lot of these people are literally just trying to come up with the most creative and insanely sounding hate that they can. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's a way to let out their creative side. Unfortunately, it's in a negative way, and a lot of people really take it to heart. And if your channel's anything like mine, you probably get a ton of people telling you that kill yourself, that you should kill yourself, that you should die, all this other stuff. And... I understand that this actually affects a lot of YouTubers uh, mentally or whatever, really, you know, bothers them. Um, don't let it. Just don't let it. Like, fuck these guys. Who the fuck are they? You know, like, fuck them. They're nobody. There's somebody sitting around, more than likely in their mom's basement, more than likely about 12 years old. Uh, and if you are 12 and you're watching this and you're not one of these haters, then you're already a step ahead of everybody else in your age group. So don't let those haters get to you because you're better than them. The point being is why waste time with people that aren't even on your level? I mean, if they're going to go around telling people they should kill themselves, first off, they probably want to kill themselves themselves. Because um, why else would you say that to somebody? I mean, for making videos. Like, oh, you made a video on YouTube and it wasn't up to my standards? You should die. You should kill yourself. I mean, just think about the logic behind that. That's retarded. The hate that my channel gets, it's not, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be here for a long, long time. I've accepted that. But my likes are on the rise. My positive comments are on the rise. My fans, and yes, that's right, haters, I got fans are on the rise. It's all increasing and I love it. It's awesome. I got some people on Twitter that communicate with me now, talking back and forth and that's fun. Facebook starting to get I'm over a hundred likes on that now, so that's that's fun as well. Uh you know, and that's what you you gotta focus on all the positive stuff. All the negative stuff, it's pointless and it's just done. You know, I said before in a video, traffic's traffic. I mean People are stopping by your page, good or bad. That's a good thing for you. You're getting views. You're getting comments. You're getting all this stuff. Uh, so don't let these... I mean, haters are going to hate. I, that's why I called it that, because I can't really think of another way to put it. Trolls are trolls. Haters are going to hate. People are always going to be negative. Uh, it doesn't matter if you become the biggest YouTube sensation, uh, you know, since PewDiePie. Uh, you're still going to end up with a shit ton of hate. I'm sure that guy gets plenty of hate. Hell, I've hated on him. I don't really have any reason to hate on him. I've never really watched any of his videos, but I've seen little clips of him here and there because he's PewDiePie. You have, he's fucking everywhere. They're shoving it down your throat. And I hear his voice and his, oh no, whatever the fuck he's doing. It annoys me. I'm not a fan. So, uh, you know, if I was 12, back in my 12-year-old self, I might even go to his page and tell him, hey, you're a piece of shit and you should stop doing these stupid ass videos. But I don't do that because I've grown up and I'm mature now. So you got to realize these people leaving these comments, it's just a maturity thing. They're just immature, you know, just like when you're in high school and people would bully you, uh, you know, it's just because they're immature. They got something going on in their own personal lives. So I guess in a way, uh, if you're letting the haters get to you, it's kind of selfish because more than likely they have their own issues that they have going on and you're sitting there thinking it's all about you. It really isn't about you. They have some shit going on in their lives. That's why I try not to engage them in the comment section with like more hate back at them. Uh, because I don't know what's going on. I mean, they can be 12, year, 12 years old sitting there and their dad beats the shit out of them every day and tells them how much of a piece of shit they are and everything. And this is just their way to kind of go and let loose and pile all that stress, all that bullshit onto someone else. And you know what? Go right ahead because I can take it. Um, and I suggest all you guys out there, uh, you take it as well, because 
it's it doesn't hurt you. It's not hurting me. People people just don't get that. It's it doesn't affect me. It doesn't hurt me. It's funny. I get a lot of laugh out of it, but that's basically it. In short, I'll leave you with this. If you're out there and you're doing a YouTube channel and you're small like me or smaller or even, you know, bigger than me, I'd say anything under probably 10,000 subs. I have to imagine once you get to around 10,000 subs, you just have to not give a shit about haters anymore. But if you are above 10,000 and you give a shit about the haters, stop. Just stop. It's wasted energy. Take that energy and put it towards your videos. Put it towards your channel. Put it towards responding to your fans. Don't let these haters get to you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions or anything else you want me to answer about this subject, let me know below or you know, send me an email or something. Uh, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll be more than happy to answer it. Um, and to the haters out there, keep it coming, motherfuckers. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of nothing, son. Bring it, son. Bring it. But as always, I've been Gator, and you've been great. Peace.